um, you know, I was asked the question on how do I surrender if I'm mostly in my head um, or I'm addicted to being in my thoughts and I'm finding it difficult to surrender. Um, well, the it's just a, a very bad addiction. Um, so when you're thinking or being stuck in your inner voice, that is resistance to, that is resistance, is not surrendering. It's actually hooking in and fighting life by being in your thoughts and your inner dialogue. So it's actually blocking the experience of the infinite. So it's a resistance to life. You know, like you could say, um, uh, oh, I, I want to surrender. I want to surrender this feeling. Or I want to surrender this story in my head. Uh, but I'm, you know, I'm finding it difficult to surrender it because I'm thinking too much. I can't stop thinking about it. Well, you know, if you can't practice the observer and go to the witnesser of the thoughts, about it which is surrendering then you can just uh, pray to surrender it or, or cancel it you got you got to. i mean it's the it's the um you can be gentle on yourself because most people are addicted to being in the thinking non-stop it's a very bad it's probably one of the it is the worst probably the worst addiction uh just being in the head all the time uh, being addicted like a tv drama that you don't want to let go of uh you know uh, the big story of how important i am and how the world is affecting me so that, it's a huge addiction. Um, and um, so getting over it may take time, you know, just keep observing, keep canceling it. You've got to get, you know, the first lesson of A Course in Miracles, which is fundamental and enlightening. All my thoughts are meaningless. It doesn't say some of my thoughts are meaningful. Like I should pay attention in case it says a good thought, maybe in a five minutes it might say something nice. No, it says every single thought that arises in the ego is meaningless. There isn't a single thought ever for the rest of your the rest of your life from the ego that will be useful or have any meaning. So there's no point going back to the ego to try and listen to it. Uh, it's just going to pull you back. So letting go of the addiction is getting getting that drummed in. So I cancel my belief that I have meaningful thoughts. I'm an infinite being. There's never a reason to go back to that place where ego thoughts come from. So it just has to be hardwired in and observed. And there has to be a fundamental knowingness that and nothing good will come from being addicted to that place. It's like, you know, for me, it's like a, it's like, um, it's like a little TV set of thoughts and drama that goes on. And there, nothing good comes of being in that place and listening to it. So... Um, so this is just kind of a gentle thing, like just doing keep doing the Course in Miracles, keep cancelling it and keep observing it. And have have this very strong develop this very strong intention that you want to be free of the, the voice of the ego forever. Uh, and you know you don't you don't have any lingering beliefs that it's useful in any way. Um the ego will say, without my thinking and without my control, you'll die. You need me. I am your life. You're my ego thinking and my ability to control and think is what is keeping you alive and is the thing that is your your source of life. Uh, now, that's how the ego keeps you in it, because you're too afraid to let that go and trust in the infinite to guide you. Uh, but um, uh, my experience is the less I'm in the head and the more I'm in the infinite, the more miraculous life is. So, ju so just it's a big addiction, but just keep keep working on it.